The Pokemon TCG has two distinct formats, the standard format and the expanded format. Now the expanded format has cards revolving all the way back to the black and white set release in 2011 all the way to today, with a couple of distinct bans for cards that shouldn't work the way they do. In the United States, in Europe, Latin America and Oceania, the expanded format has not seen play traditionally outside of smaller tournaments since the year 2020. That being said, Japan still has a penchant for the expanded format, and today the Japanese YouTube channel put out a video about two expanded decks going head to head. It looks like Chan Pal Blastoise uh, with Rain Dance, a similar ability to Backscalibur, but you get a couple more cool tools and cards like Dive Ball, um, Battle Compressor, um, ex execute to stuff like that to kind of bolster your deck and then in the other side we have Charizard um, I don't know what Charizard really gets but expanded is crazy there's a lot of cards and I'm excited to see how this kind of plays out I haven't really thought about expanded in gears to be honest so I don't really know what's good uh, all I know is that double dragon energy plus Tina Chomp turn one shenanigans with Wally uh, turn one Archeops with Lugia is probably really good if you can get through the deck um, as quickly as possible. But that being said, thank you guys for watching. As always, this is another reaction video from me, Rahul. We're going to jump right into it, and hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, also, please like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I do a lot of these reactions. I have a lot of fun with them, uh, and I don't really know how this video is going to go because I haven't seen Expanded in a while. There are deck lists at the end, so if you guys stick around to the end, we will have deck lists from this if you want to try some Expanded at home yourself or have a League Challenge or something in Expanded format. Uh, we're going to see the Charmander on the left, and a Squirtle on the light. Squirtle's ability says no bench damage done to it. So it's basically a Terra uh, Squirtle because all the Terra all have that. So we're going to see a quick... Well, we're playing Leon's art, I think, here. There's a Mew. There is a Mr. Mime, making sure there's no bench damage done here to stop the Greninja. A little bit bulkier of a Manaphy. Actually, it's like pretty much the same as a Manaphy. Uh, just a Psychic type, I guess. So we're going to see a Compressor to get two Leon's. So it is Leon's art uh, that caps out a lot of damage. Putting an N into play as well and attach Retreat. We're looking probably for a VIP pass um, or just another way to get VSC. Okay, just another way to get another Charmander in play, I think, but we missed that. Uh, we're going to see a Brooklet Hill, a stadium that we haven't seen in quite a while. It's a fighting or water type Pokemon, puts it under your bench. A uh, very strong stadium for what it was currently standard legal. Getting Greninja now seems pretty insane for this format. A Dive Ball gets, I think, any water type Pokemon, puts it into your hand, uh, giving us the access to another Squirtle probably here. Uh, a Chia Pal is also fine. Um, Dive Ball being kind of universally a good card for the water type, uh, water archetype, because now you can get cards into your hand like Blastoise, um, or just like any other, I guess, water middle stage, middle attack or anything, an ear that comes through, we're going to see a VIP pass and a Blastoise, just basically saying, hey, you need to disrupt my hand, if you don't, I'm going to have the Stoice for next turn, um, and we're going to see Palkia coming through, Palkia's still pretty, probably very good, uh, we do see a VS Seeker in the Charmander player's hand, uh, they're going to go ahead and bridge it. Uh, the ideal turn one supporter, I think, for either side, getting a Ditto Prism. Ditto Prism, I forgot how broken that card is. It can basically evolve into any stage one uh, in the game. Giving you a ton of options. Prisms are pretty broken. We're going to see the Mew coming through. Candy into the Zard. Uh, this Zard is going to go ahead and accelerate the energies. Two there and one to a Charmander. Um, so I guess this is like a Charizard EX deck with a Leon Zard in the back to do more damage because I guess you have the options for Zards. Another Chan Pao coming through with Brooklet Hill. Shivery Chill. Getting two more. Um, we're going to see two cards being drawn from the Greninja here. Uh, let's see VS Seeker. Grabbing ourselves another copy of Irida. VS Seeker just being an absolutely broken card in this format. Uh, being able to get any supporter lets you play a little bit more niche supporters uh, with Battle Compressor and cards like that. You have more leeway to play uh, a little bit Greedier, I guess, is, is the general term. Double Candy Blastoise, that's a little excessive. Oh my. Uh, we're going to see Deluge uh, coming through. I still I still call Backscalibur's ability Deluge when I play it, which I think is pretty funny. The old abilities that re themselves are, uh, yeah, like Rain Dance, I guess, is the original ability for it. We're going to see two come through and then Chan Pao with the attack for the knockout on the Mew, taking the first prize. Putting ourselves in a pretty decent position. We're going to see the Ditto Prism become a Charmeleon. Uh, makes sense, I think, if you're going to play... You basically get a fifth Charmander, uh, which I think is important for these Stage 2 setup decks. Makes a lot of sense. We're going to see an N come through. Both players shuffle their hands in, draw a equivalent to their prize cards. Um, one of the most broken supporters. Uh, capturing Aroma, just absolutely just a better version of... Um, like Evolution Incense or anything like that. Capturing Aroma just being a very standard staple deck 
uh, card, consistency card, uh, basically gives you card advantage because you don't have to get rid of stuff like, uh, like for Ultra Ball, you have to get rid of cards, but you don't really want to get rid of cards with Ultra Ball a lot of the time. So when you don't have to play Ultra Ball cards like Quick Ball, Nest Ball, um, and these will come into play. We see the A-Spec Computer Search, discarding two cards from your hand, getting any one card from the deck. Uh, an absolutely insane card for when it was standard legal. An absolutely insane card for uh, expanded. A-Specs are coming back, by the way. So everyone is speculating that Computer Search might not come back as an A-Spec in the form that it is. I think Computer Search will probably come back, but I don't know, maybe it might be a little bit nerfed. Uh, maybe it's like a discard three. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of A-Specs that could be really good, but... Yeah, this board is really scary to deal with now because Leon's are There's 100 plus 50, I believe, for each Leon of the discard. And there's three in there, so 250 damage is going to come through. And we're going to see that Chien Pao go down, taking two prizes. Um, the inevitability of that Charizard EX on the bench is uh, kind of daunting to deal with because the Charizard EX player has time to kind of close out the game. Uh, Capacious Bucket being an absolutely insane card for the water archetype. I feel like with Expanded, every card I say is like insane because I think that's just what Expanded is by nature. It's just like a bunch of really broken cards that swing at each other. And it's just like whoever can swing uh, faster and harder first um, is kind of what it comes down to. We're going to see 480 damage. Taking one prize though, which is not really ideal here. Uh, Charizard now swinging for 270, but we want to go into another Leon Zard. Um, with a choice belt or something of that nature, probably Charizard EX coming through again. Um, let's see what it takes us. We're going to see the Evolve. We're going to see the Accelerate, the three energy from the deck. Uh, pretty pretty good ability. Oh, there's only two energies in the deck, it looks like. Leon Zard coming through again. Um, we're just looking for the last Leon. We're going to see the ability. I think it's keep one card off the top three, discard two, so research and Tapu Lele. Uh, absolutely. Also, it's just Luminian, but Tapu Lele can attack, so it has a better um vantage point given how the format goes because tapu Lele can clean up attacks and also do a lot of pressure early sorry excuse me we're gonna see the leon coming through putting us at now 330 damage with the four leons in the discard plus the leon activation for this turn taking those two prizes and now the inevitability is the fact that even if you go into this chen pal you're gonna have to boss up this uh charizard ex and if you boss up the charizard ex uh you don't win the game because the other Leon Zard will just one-shot you. And if you one-shot the Leon Zard, then the Charizard EX will one-shot you. Basically, there's no winning in this scenario. Oh, I forgot about Blastoise EX. I guess Blastoise EX comes through. We're going to see the Candy Stoice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see the Deluge ability accelerating two waters from hand, probably. One. Um, two. And then we're going to go ahead and probably see the attack. Oh, there's a Float Stone because this guy has three retreat. Pretty reasonable here. Um, and then we're going to see the attack uh, discarding just one water from hand uh, to one-shot this uh, active guy. Uh, this doesn't like solve all of our problems just yet because it's a one-prize attack we're taking here. Uh, ideally, if we were able to boss the Lele this turn, that would have been really good. Uh, because if we boss Lele, we then put pressure onto this Charizard that we can one-shot with Chien Pao. Um, and we're going to go ahead and see the Raihan coming through. Uh, just setting up another guy. Um, grabbing any card in the deck. Probably just... Oh, that's an interaction I didn't expect to work. Counter energy, if you're behind this Pokemon, this acts as like a double rainbow, basically. But it doesn't work on like V and GX Pokemon, I believe. But I guess it doesn't apply to rule box Pokemon. Because uh, maybe it applies to rule box Pokemon. Maybe EX Pokemon can't use it. Um, but I feel like it still works. I don't know. 240, we're just swinging. We're, we're really far ahead. Uh, this Even as this Champau comes up, it takes the one shot. Um... It's not super ideal on Nessa in this deck. I guess because it's expanded, you can afford to play stuff like that. Computer Search for the Luminian for the N, ending to two, probably. Superior Energy Retrieval. We're going to go ahead and see this come through. Getting four waters back. Uh, basically setting up for a Chan Pao knockout. Um, I think, probably. Oh, are we Luminianing? Oh, no. We're probably just going to attack with Chan Pao. Uh, Counter Catcher, if you're behind, bring up a Pokemon to the active. Uh, how is this better than... How is this better than this just... I guess this activates if you're behind. So I guess we're just bringing this up, Illuminianing. And we're going to Illuminian into... Into what? Everything gets one shot here. I guess maybe just throw up the Stoys. And say, hey, take a one prizer. I'm going to end you to two. And the next turn I find another bo a boss. Or a way to attack with boss. Um, which I guess makes sense to some degree. 
and then you can Brooklyn Hill out an attacker maybe, or throw up Greninja because it has one retreat because you don't really need Greninja anymore. Um, and Charmander is down, so there's no Leon Zard uh, that can come back into play. Uh, and then Greninja goes into the active. Um, the Charmander goes out. Uh, Counter Energy doesn't get activated. There's a Mime into the active, so I guess uh, our Zard player didn't really draw what they needed. Rad Zard is another option. We're going to see a pass coming through. We're going to see the Dive Ball, getting a Luminion, getting the boss's orders, probably just a Wii to retreat, and the game will end. Um, pretty much just, just needs a way to move the active. Uh, we're going to see the Dedene drawing six, uh, an absolutely insane card as well. Just discard your hand, draw six. Uh, one of the cards in Expander that just lets you keep going. Cyrus Prism, okay, man. Um, that's pretty funny. Um, it really cripples people's setups if you can actually get that going. In a deck like this, I don't really know how you would actually establish that when you need it. But uh, all we needed is a boss plus a way to retreat. We did see that, so we're going to see two more cards come through with the Greninja. No boss still. It's still fine, I think, because we can thin properly. Ultra Ball. Um... And you can just... I would still have attached an energy to the Greninja because if you could end again, uh, it could be a problem. But I guess maybe you might not have enough energy in the deck to uh, see how Blastoise gets bossed. So we're going to see a VS Seeker for... Research? Okay. If there was an energy in hand, Guzma makes sense. Stretcher, I forgot. Also a really good card. Pokecom. Putting Mew back in. Let's see what we're grabbing off of this. There's another counter energy. I see a chaotic swell, I believe. Uh, we're going to grab the Mew back. Uh, and we're just going to pass. I feel like both sides are pretty much out of gas. But I think the Blastoise player is definitely in a favorite position here. Uh, to just kind of close out the game. And win with just finding a boss's orders. Um, we're going to see... Four cards left in the deck. Um, Ultra Balling, Floatstone, and Rope. We're going to see the Marnie coming through. Um, I guess guaranteeing it for next turn, but I, I don't know why you wouldn't attach the energy that's already in your hand um, in this scenario, but maybe I'm just missing something. Uh, I guess also playing no execute makes sense because you're not, you're not going to open it. There's the Guzma, and that is the game. Uh, bringing up anything, honestly, on the bench and attacking with Zard. So it does come down to the wire, and Guzma does decide the game like it does in a lot of situations in the Pokemon TCG. But I feel like we could have just played that a little bit better as a Stoice player, and maybe we would have gotten there. Um, yeah, but let's take a look at the lists. Uh, maybe I'm wrong with the list. In this Leon Zard list, we do see three of the Zards. I think this is a cool idea with the 4-1. Uh, this makes sense. Maybe there's another stage one we could probably play to make our matchups better across the board if we are playing Expanded. However, I don't know Expanded matchups. The one-off comm seems really weird here. Um, maybe I just play like a third Evo Incense. I don't really know why I would do that. Um, I feel like three Ultra Ball is also kind of weird because I don't really want to discard a ton of cards with this deck besides the Leons. Uh, one draw supporter in the fact that we only have one end and one research. That's kind of crazy to me. Uh, I would probably want a second card like that or a Cynthia's Ambition or something because if we fall behind we do need to fill our hand up and besides an end and a research like no other draw supporters is absolutely ludicrous like why even play Lele at that point uh, honestly um, three compressors fine three VS Seekers fine uh, four candy makes sense um, a couple of these counts are definitely really sus but we got to work on that uh, uh, I don't know expanded but this is definitely a list that's interesting and then we see this list with the one Guzma, I think one Guzma does make sense. Two Irida makes sense. That's fine. One and one Marnie. Why there's so few draw supporters? Cyrus Prism. Can't compress with that one. Silent Lab and one Brooklet. My opponent, my, my guy just opened the one Brooklet. That's kind of crazy. Um, one, one Palkia to Dene. Um, no, list makes sense. One Capacious Bucket. We probably need a second just to be able to find into our waters when we need them off the Stoys because Irida plus Capacious uh, is probably a really good combination. I don't know if Nessa is necessarily needed. In a lot of situations, Countercatcher does make sense. Um, a lot of these cards do make sense. However, I do think there is a lot of work in Expanded. I don't really know Expanded very well, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the uh, support. Hopefully, you guys can like, like and subscribe to this video. That would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much, and peace out until next time.